Hi, I'm Phyllis from the Doll Corner, and today I want to show you, or give you a few tips on your sewing machine. First of all, I would like you to read your manual. It's a very simple, easy thing to do. It's just go through your manual. I'm not, I don't really care how many, how long you've had your machine. Just pick it up and go through it. You might be surprised how many new tips, easier tips, that you will come get from it. Because we get our machine and we start sewing with it and we forget we have a manual. But it comes in handy. And now I want to show you a tip on threading your machine. Now, a lot of you will know this, but there may be one or two out there that has, doesn't know this. When you thread your machine, you always thread it with your pressure foot up. Just put your pressure foot up and thread it. You'll see how the thread flows through easily. That gets the thread down in your tensions. And then when you go to thread it, you just lower your pressure foot. And if you had it with a needle threader, that's great. If you don't, then you may need a little piece of paper like this. This is a piece of off a tissue box dark on one side, light on the other. Be th threading colorful thread. Put the white side out. Clip your thread on an angle. It gives, gives you a point and, and the hole shows up on your needle and you're ready to go. <coughs> now I'd like to show you a stitch that I'm <coughs> working on, or I like to use. I have my serger and I use my serger a lot. But sometimes you're just going to sew a short distance or you don't want to take the time to rethread your serger if you go through the right threads on that. So this one, you go three step, two stitches down, it goes out, comes back, and two more stitches, and out, and back. Two stitches, and out, and back. And this is along the edge of your fabric. And that prevents your thread, or your seam from raveling. And it's a great stitch for a lot of things. And I'll show you what it's like. It looks like that. And you can adjust the width. And it's great for... I'll just show you how. I have white thread in here, this is yellow, so it may not, it won't look the best, but. You just go over the edge. You can see how that looks. It makes a nice, fine little seam. And it's great for sheer fabrics. And this is on a white. It's 
covers all your there's no ravelly edges or anything and this is a French a French seam and it it you sew the wrong sides together then you trim your seam and then you put your right sides together and sew it down here so all your edges are enclosed so they're both quite a nice idea this one is, takes less time, and it, it's not as noticeable as the French seam. Now I'd like to show you how you can use that same stitch for making a rolled hem. You take your fabric and just sort of roll it over, a tiny little roll to it. Just press it a bit with your finger until so you get it under your pressure foot. Set your pressure foot down and take that same stitch and you just work that seam. a little edge left over on this side just trim it off just like that and you can see how neat now if that was a yellow thread it would be much nicer and this is a piece I did. I did the whole width of the fabric with that same and that makes a very solid little hem. use it for the bottom of a skirt, you could use it for sleeves, you could use it for you are making a ruffle. There's just so many uses for it. Now here's another way of using that same stitch. This is a piece that I've been practicing on. <coughs> Put some lace on. Just turn this edge in like this. hold this lace on top and that's a great way to add lace very neat little edge and that's great for for a doll's sleeve or the skirt of her dress or just so many different ways you can use that so if these tips have been helpful give me a thumbs up if you'd like to follow me on for my next video I'll give you notice if you give me a up on the right subscribe you can email me at doll fashions at seven excuse me doll fashions 77 at gmail.com and thanks for watching <laughs>